Good morning. Made it to work. And I wanted to, while I'm still in the car, share with you this scripture of the day. Hope you all are having a good morning or a good day whenever you're watching this. Um, let's see. I have to take my glasses off to read. Mm. Okay, so the scripture of the day is Ephesians 4.29. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. Okay. So I'm going to have to watch what I say today. Um, I am listening to this book right now. It is The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. And it's pretty good so far. And this book right here was due at the library. I, I keep forgetting to take this book back. I need to remember to take it back today when I get off work. I put it in the car on purpose so I remember to take it back. I can imagine what my fine is. I have to check online. But anyway, let me get in here and, you know, act like I'm going to get some work done today. <laughs> See you guys later. So I'm on my lunch break and I always, always, always go downstairs to our cafeteria, get lunch, go back to my desk, eat and read. But today, oh Lord, I picked the wrong day. It's cold out here. <laughs> but today I'm going to go to the Dollar Tree and get a few things that I want to use to stuff my book club Christmas bags. And I'll probably go Maybe like to Zaxby's and get a sandwich or salad to eat for lunch. Something like that. I don't know. I hope my lips aren't chapped and ashy. Because it is it is so cold out here. You know, I'm in South Carolina. We're not we're not used to this. Okay. It's to for it to be this cold in December, nah. It usually doesn't get cold here until mm, January, February. I remember some Christmases we would be running around outside with t-shirts on, you know? And I'm all, you know, turtleneck sweater and, and fleece jacket today. Oh God, I can't record. I gotta put my hands in my pocket because I left my gloves. Talk to you guys later. Rhonda. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I'm good. How are you, girl? I'm good. Listen, I, I don't know if you how you feel about being on camera. I, I'm recording you right now. Okay. Um, I just want to ask you something real quick. What's the last book you read? The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Oh, you really like that one? I do. It took me And what else, okay. did, what else do you like? Or have you read that you really like? One of the most memorable ones is Next Thing on a Holla by Nathan McCall. Oh, yeah. I read that one. That one was really, really good. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I know you don't want me to show your face, but what's the last book you read? The Handmaid's Tale. Oh, by... I don't know. Margaret Atwood? <laughs> that Is sounds that right. Name? Something like that. Was it good? No. You didn't like it? I didn't finish it. Oh, no. So you DNF'd it. Yeah. Yeah, I did yeah. not finish. Yeah. I tried to watch the... Um, so there's a series mm -hmm. called The Handmaid's Tale. I thought I was going to read the book first, but it seems like I watched the first episode of the series and it was like the entire book. So I had oh. no need to finish the book. So what are you starting next? The Mountain Between Us. The Mountain Between Us. Who is that by? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she just reads. She got well, thanks. I appreciate it. Before that. I get started, I wanted to mention, mention something I meant to mention the other day. So on Bernice L. McFadden's Facebook page, she posted that she was writing a memoir. And I posted underneath, I said, a memoir? And she said, yes. So I am so super excited for that. Can you imagine how good that book is going to be? I cannot wait. I can't wait. So anyway, I digress. I started filming last night and my tripod would not stand up for anything. It didn't matter what I tried. Okay, Saturday is my book club Christmas party. And so I'm not going to show you what I'm going to get them just in case they're watching the video. But I do want to show you 
how I'm going to dress up these gift bags. You see, it's just a plain red bag, you know. And so what I want to do is, you know, use some materials that I have primarily for journaling mostly, but um, some things I had around the house and a few new things just to dress the bags up and make them a little bit prettier. And I, I did work on three of them. They're definitely not done. So I bought some other things to help embellish the gift bags and to use as little stuffers. So let me show you the progress I've made thus far on three of them. I have a total of nine to make. What I've done so far with the three bags that I started. So here's one. And I'll tell you what I have here. I have um, tissue paper, you know, this kind of tissue paper here. And I just took a piece of it and I crinkled it up, you know, just kept balling it up and balling it up. I unfolded it and then I glued it to the bag. And then I took the envelope that the card would normally come in. You know, I, I, I didn't want to do the traditional stuff, the you know, the card down into an envelope, seal it and all that. So I actually am using this as a pouch on the front. It's glued on, put the Christmas card in there and a gift tag. The person's initials are here. And I noticed that as I was cutting up some of the card stock that they were ending up in the perfect size for bookmarks. So I'm putting bookmarks in here in each of the um, stuffers in tissue paper. Can't tell you what I've purchased for them because some of them may be watching the video. Don't want to give it away. So here's the next bag. I love this one. I love that Christmas card with the little girl on it. I've got a um, felt snowflake here, card stock, gift tag, initials, Another little bookmark, sticker, tissue paper. And this one, I have, again, same thing, but I use a lot more stickers on this one. And I put some washi tape on the bottom of this one. Christmas card, bookmark, um, gift tag, tissue paper. So yeah, so you get the idea, right? Okay. Okay. So it is about 1030 and I promised myself I was going to stop at 10. I got down to the last two bags, but I'm, I'm really tired. I've been up since four something this morning and I am ready to go to bed. I want to read just a little bit before I go to sleep though. So I'm going to shut it down, put all of my supplies away because my living room looks a mess right now. And I will be posting this video, which is Vlogmas Day 6, on the 7th. And I'll also post a video tomorrow as well. So you'll get a double dose of videos on the 7th of December. Sorry about it being late, but I'm too tired to stay up and edit a video tonight. So you'll get two on December 7th. Bye-bye, guys.